Hello there. Hi, this is Beth at Blissful Transformation. And uh, what is it? Sunday, the 8th of August. Woohoo! So, uh, this is uh, the Lion's Gate portal today. Ooh, loads of juicy, phenomenal energy uh, coming in the weeks ahead, yes? Uh, especially with this uh, full moon in Leo happening today on this Lion's Gate portal. Um, so, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to new people watching, listening, and welcome back to people that have been following me for a while. Uh, how's everybody doing? Has it been a crazy time? Has it been a creative time? Has it been uh, a quiet time for you? Uh, tell me, how are you feeling about these, uh, all of these transitions that we've had, these major transitions this year of 2021? Uh, it's been crazy, hasn't it? It's been a bit of a roller coaster, uh, certainly in my life um, and the lives of uh, many of my friends. Um, so, have I got a piece of hair sticking out here somewhere? I can, yeah, it's right there, look. Where is that? Here. <laughs> I can see it's getting on my nerves. It was just kind of like sticking out like a shadow here, right? Uh, so, um, so of course we're going to do the uh, weekly uh, Zodiacs. But first of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, new moon in Leo. Um, I've written down full moon here, but that is a mistake. It is a new moon. Yeah. Slightly different, slightly different with the way we handle uh, full moons and new moons. So yeah, so it's a new moon in Leo. So headline, new moon in Leo. Chase your wildest dreams, upgrade your reality. That's what we're looking at, right? That's what we're looking at this week. And continuing um, definitely into Virgo season. Uh, we've really got to take advantage right now of um, this uh, rebirth, uh, this Lion Leo energy as we go in, into, obviously, through the Lion's Gate. Lions are representative of Leos. So we've got to take take uh, take the opportunities, yes, to uh, to embrace all this Leo creative energy, um, and you know that's uh, this is an eight eight right. So today is the eighth of the eighth, the eighth day of the eighth month. Eight eight. Well, eight is a, an infinity sign, yes. Um, now. Because we've got the new moon, this will amplify this energy, okay? So, what's the infinity sign about? The infinity sign is about spiritual intelligence, and it's also about um, upgrading um, our um, DNA, like a DNA activation. So, with the new moon, that's going to be amplified, yeah? So, you're going to find uh, more confidence, uh, you're going to be able to push boundaries, step into the unknown, um, definitely go out of your comfort zone. And I know that's going to be difficult for some signs, but this is what we're being asked spiritually, for my spiritual community out there, for my lesbian community out there, yes? Uh, I've got my flag, but it's only this one. Right, I would like to buy a, a lesbian flag with the lesbian colours. Uh, I'm going to have to look out for one. I'm going to have to see if I can find one. Uh, if you've got any recommendations about where I could buy the lesbian flag, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Um, and I will, I will raise it high above my head right here. Uh, so, um, so yeah, so this is getting out of your comfort zone, stepping into the unknown. Um, and the ritual that you want to do with a new moon, right? So you want to manifest and set intentions, but you also want to expel the things that, that are not serving you anymore, right? Um, so uh, for this new moon, 
in Leo, I want you to, to write a list. Small list, doesn't have to be like pages, okay? It can be as simple as just five things. Five things that you want to manifest, five things you want to set an intent in intention doing. Um, and then I want you to write five things that you want to expel from your life, right? At least three, let's say, at least three. Five would be good, but at least three, that things that you want to, to get rid of in your life. Um, now, for the things that you want to manifest on the piece of paper, right? So I want you to write them on separate pieces of paper. The first one uh, with the man uh, manifesting list, things that you're setting your intentions of, I want you to read them out loud and I want you to use candle magic. So I want you to light a candle, whichever one you prefer. Uh, white candles are always best for, um, they have the highest, the highest intention. Uh, the white light, uh, but whatever you have is fine, okay, so, um, so just, uh, so the, with the candle magic, I just want you to, to hold the paper over the candle, yeah, and read the, um, and read your intentions, okay, and really mean them, put some feeling into them, girls, yeah, put some feeling into it, and then with the other one, I want you to read them aloud, but I want you to rip it up or I want you to burn it, okay? Outside somewhere, don't be setting the house on fire, okay? So I want you to just burn it or something outside, all right? So this piece of hair is still sticking up here. It's just very annoying. Oh, the hairdresser cut my hair the wrong way and it's kind of just a little, you see, it's just, oh, it's just, it's supposed to be longer here and shorter at the back and, and she's done it the opposite way, you see? So it's just, it's annoying anyway uh <laughs> just i'm sure it looks great but i just really i just you know what it's like when you just have personal things that you don't like and i'm just kind of stop um so let's dive straight into now um into the zodiac signs okay because we're coming up to 10 minutes into this uh this lovely session here uh so what am I working with today? I'm working with the Fairy Cards, again, by Doreen Virtue. Um, I'm working with the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. I'm working with Keepers of the Light, Kyle Gray. And today I've also, I don't normally or usually work with the regular tarot. I've got the Rider Weight Tarot, the Radiant Deck. Um, but I pulled all the major arcana out, okay, because we're looking at major energy for this coming week. So um, I wanted to, as well as the oracle cards, I just wanted to just pull, pull some from the, uh, pull one for every zodiac for, from the uh, major arcana rider weight deck, okay? Uh, not something I usually do, as you know. Um, I usually just work with the oracle. Trust the oracle, right? Always gives me more information. So uh, let's start with Leo. So I'm starting with the fairy cards, okay? So let's see what uh, spirit has for Leo, please. As usual, I have my spirit guides here. My nan is here. Ophelia. My Egyptian spirit guide is here. And Zadkael is here. Archangel Zadkael again. Perfect. Okay, thanks guys. So, let's get going with the... Oh, all right, that one wants to come out. Well, that's the star card, right, for Leo. So, Leo, this new moon uh, energy. Um, this is going to be in your first house of self. So this is working on yourself, manifesting things for you, um, digging a bit deeper within, yes? Uh, and we've got the star card. Now that's a wish, wish is coming true, right? Um, look to the future with hope and optimism. Uh, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So this is your week, Leo, right? This is the new moon in Leo, come on. You know, this is happy birthday to all you Leos. Um, uh, July and August 
Uh, I'm sure you've been going with the flow and soaking up this beautiful energy that's around. Uh, but I mean, this definitely is your week, right? This is where you can really step out into the world, voice your, uh, voice your opinions. Um, I don't mean in a, in a bad way, of course, always in a good way. Um, but you know, find your voice, um, step into a little bit of uh, the uncomfortable zone that you don't really like doing. I know you like to be in the spotlight, but not always. That's not always so true for Leo. Sometimes they don't like to be in the spotlight so much. It depends. So anyway, so that's the star card. So let's see. I'm going to pull. Um, I'm going to pull a keepers of the light. And we'll also have one then from the a Major Arcana Rider weight deck, okay? So, what do we have for Leo? Is that one? Oh, that's nice, okay. And let's see the Rider weight deck. So, let's shuffle these and see what wants to come out. Okay. Okie dokie. Lovely, 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 lovely. So we have got Rada, Soul Flame. Uh, this is Rediscover a Lost Part of Yourself, Experience, Relationship, Harmony and Healing. That's lovely. So that's to do with the inner work. So I told you this is first house of self, right? So you can go and you can do the do the work. You can you can speak, walk the talk. Let's just put it like that. Walk the talk. Because you have done the inner healing. I think maybe there's a little bit more for you to do um, in these upcoming weeks. Take control of that energy. Use the opportunity to, um, uh, to, to acknowledge who you are and, and get that confidence that maybe you've been lacking for um, the early part of this year. Definitely last year. Uh, this is your time to, to shine for sure shine for sure okay and we've got temperance so temperance is balance yes um sometimes it can be caution but i'm actually i'm actually feeling that with these cards this is about finding your balance yeah so remember you've got um this is all about the first house of self for you <clears throat> excuse me so i want you to to dig deep um with the help of Rada, dig deep, uh, find your confidence, go out there in the world, speak your truth. Rada will help you if you need to do some more inner work, right? And there's the balance. Don't push it too much. Yes, but I think you're in control. Balance. This is a. This is you're in control here. This Temperance card is telling me you're totally in control of the way things are going. Um, and I, I did say earlier that I feel that you've done this inner work that comes with Rada, do the inner work. I think you've done a lot of it. If you need to do more, I think you'll know. Um, but mostly, you've got the confidence and this is your week, Leo. Okay? Crack on there, girlfriend. All right then. So, let's see. Let's now go on to Virgo. My lovely little Virgos. So Virgos, let's see. Your uh, this new moon in Leo for you is falling into your twelfth house of mystery and the unknown. And I know you'll be uncomfortable with that Virgo because you like everything to be in its place. <laughs> So it might be a bit of a challenging week for you, okay? So let's let's see what let's see what's going on. Oh gosh, it is mighty hot, I tell you. I um yeah, it's a it's a hot one again today. Excuse me a minute, Virgos, while I just uh oh while I just cool down a bit over here. Um, as you know, I changed my office around, so I'm in the corner, but I've got a beautiful view of the uh, of the mountains. Uh, it's breezy outside, but it's hot. It's a hot wind. Hot wind. Hot wind. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Oof, feel a bit better now. Uh, so, Virgo, you are August and September. This new moon in Leo is in your 12th house of the mystery and the unknown. 
So let's see. Well, that's too many, but I'll take those two. Oh my Lord, I want all of them, I think they're saying. Do I want all of those? They're all winter cards. Yeah, I want all of those. Okay, so we've got the seven of winter. We've got the nine of winter. And we've got the prince of winter. Okay, so let me just read what it says on the card and then I'll ask my guides for more intuition. Uh, there is a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. Mmm, that would uh, tie in with this week of the unknown, right? Running away from the truth. Uh, unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. And then seeking out an intellectual solution to your problem, the need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. So I think this is going to be the light at the end of the tunnel, right? So you've got the seven and the nine here. And this is about, this is the uncomfortable bit for you, Virgo. It might be a bit uncomfortable this week. Yeah. Don't go too much into your head. Um, yeah. You know that the Lionsgate portal, right, is all about, um, is all about uh, the heart, the heart, opening the heart chakra, right? That's what this... This, this energy is going to be all about. Um, for you, I think that you're going to have to go into your heart chakra a little bit more. Um, you see right now, the nine of winter is very green, right? Um, but it's dark green. And you see the moon is illuminating it, so that's more mystery and the unknown. So this is why you're very fearful. So if you do some inner work on your um, with your heart chakra, to make that green come alive, more luminous green rather than this dark green, yes? Um, and don't listen to the ego so much. Gosh, I think I'm having a hot flash here. It's just so hot at the moment. Excuse me, Virgo. Woo, very, very hot. Um, but you know, you've got to but see things clearly, look. See things clearly, yeah? Um, so try not to, not, try not to worry too much. Do the heart chakra work. Look, make it green like my fan. Yes. Um, and. What other messages? What's the message for Virgo? Okay. The message for Virgo to seek out the friends. To seek out the spiritual help if you need it. The friends, the family, the the boyfriend, the girlfriend, um, the the best friend, uh, the colleague, whoever it is for you, right? Um, or even if it's a teacher, coach, mentor, someone. Uh, seek out a person that can help you. Um, if you need help with opening that heart chakra. Hmm, Okay. So, a spiritual teacher. Yeah? Is that correct? Spiritual teacher. Okay. Um, yes, and this energy won't last long. This will only be for the week. This, full moon, this new moon in energy, this new moon in Leo energy is going to last a lot longer. But I'm feeling for you, Virgo, that as soon as you deal with it very quickly, yes? Get out of your own head, get out of your ego, um, go into a heart space, heart chakra. Uh, there are some things on YouTube as well to help you with that, with going into heart chakra uh, energy. Um, Archangel Raphael is also very good with that. Um, and I think there is a, um, there is a music uh, tone to help you as well. Um, that, would, that, would very, that would help you very much this week, okay Virgo? Um, so let's just pull one from this Rider right, right Waite deck and see. Okay, the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar it's tomorrow. So I think that the sun definitely is here. Great card to tell you that all will be well, but you've got to deal with this. You've got to deal with this fast. 
Deal with it this week. You don't want this energy lingering around, right? If you need to seek out professional help, find it or find it with somebody that you trust. Go onto Google, go onto YouTube, find the heart chakra uh, meditation, find the heart chakra, um, uh, um, God, scale, the, 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 um, the solfeggio scale, right, which is the, the tone, um, and do it fast, the sun is going to come out to you, um, this is the number 14, within two weeks. Yeah, don't leave it longer than... I think you should get it done this week. It won't like this, but its energy won't last more than two weeks. Okay? All right, so that's kind of good news there, Virgo. A little, right? you just got to get out your head a little bit, right? And, yeah. It's always difficult when we've got, you know, this huge Leo energy. I mean, it's, a, it's massive, you know. And then to have a new moon in leo on the lion's gate portal i mean this is going to affect the energies massively you've just got to learn how to work with them and if you you know if you feel that you if there's a certain part of your body or on your chakras that need healing um then you know uh deal deal with it you you know your body right um but it will be massive energy this week so uh yeah all right okay libras libras september and october i want that one yes yeah, september and october the 11th house of wishes dreams and friendships very nice this week for you uh libras uh we've got the ten of spring uh, uh all work and no play ask for help from others uh, a lot of responsibility. Do you have a lot of responsibility at the moment, Libra? Um, you've got friendships, wishes, dreams. But this is it's in the house of friendships. Uh, are you juggling too many things? Are you trying to... You're trying to... I think this is the opposite, right? It says ask for help from others. I think others are asking a lot of help from you. They're, they're, you you're putting yourself out there a lot too much too much i think at the moment uh that's what i'm feeling with that energy um yeah a bit like cinderella here right you go i can't help anybody else i'm tired <laughs> right uh and we've got horus uh from the keepers of the light Horus is the cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So change your mindset. Um, flip the switch. Take some time out. Um, instead of helping others so much, um, recharge your batteries a bit this week um, and reach out to some friends, just one or two, or even just one. Um, and have a nice time with them. Have some have a joyous experience. Um, forget about responsibilities for a little bit, yes? I feel you've been very bogged down, kind of Cinderella type, all work and no play. Um, working towards a goal, Libras, some of you. Um, but you you know, you can't keep you've got to you've got to find joy in in, in whatever you're doing. Um, and if you can't find it, then you need to take a break, right? You need to take a little break. And I feel that that's what it is. Uh, changes will occur um, when you make up your mind to do that, right? When you make an honest intention. Maybe that's one of your intentions that you should set this week is... Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to take that out. Look, that's the... That's the, that's the, it's the card from the back right it's the main card um so yeah so maybe you manifest your intentions this week would for you would be uh um to change to change your thinking to stop giving uh so much of your energy to other people it's a little bit uh it's a little bit scattered okay you've got judgment here right so this would be definitely awaking uh hello definitely awaking to new um new and uh 
uh, a better situation, but your eyes are going to be open. So I think that you've decided that this is it. You are definitely, um, you draw in the line, enough is enough, right? You can't help everybody, right? You can't help the world, Libra. I know you like to, but you can't. You've got to do it one step at a time. And so I think this is a time for you this week just to step back, set some intentions for yourself and, um, and, and yeah, and, and move forward, move forward and wait for the changes to occur, right? But changes won't occur unless you make the uh, the necessary uh, necessary steps, right? And set those intentions. Okay, hope that helps, Libras. Uh, no, Ahmed, sorry, I don't like people to to join in. You can ask me questions here if you want to. That's I'm quite happy to do that, um, but not actually to join the video because then it makes the it kind of distorts the video viewing um, and people can't really see the cards. They want to see me in the cards, right? So, but thank you for asking. That was really lovely. Thank you for asking to join. But if you would like a card pulled, I'm uh, quite happy to pull a card for you, my darling, okay? Uh, so now we're going on to Scorpio. So Scorpio, this week, this new moon in Leo week, uh, is going to fall into your 10th house of career and purpose. Um, gosh, and I think we've been talking about your career and purpose for the last few readings. This last month has been about career and purpose, I think, for you. Um, and so let's just see what, let's just see what comes out with the, with the cards here. Uh, I'm not taking all of those, thank you. Uh, I just want, okay, want that one, all right. So we want another one for Scorpio. Career and purpose. Oh, yeah, we want that one as well. Okay, I thought there was one more coming out. Okay, so the first one, the Four of Spring. Look at that, it's a beautiful card. Be grateful you have, have much to celebrate. Uh, deep feelings of peace and happiness and a contented personal life. Well, that's a wonderful card, isn't it? And the Ace of Spring, look at that. Joy, 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 joy to the world. So career and purpose. So this could be your life purpose. Life purpose does not have to be career. Although this week, this is falling, this, this new moon is falling into your career. And life purpose. But life purpose can be many different things, right? It could be to be an amazing wife, an amazing girlfriend. Uh, it could be to be an amazing mother, sister. Um, it doesn't have to be career. Um, so I'm just, let me just read these for you. The Four of Spring. Much to celebrate, uh, contented personal life. And then the Ace of Spring which is it's time to take action be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities so okay this tells me then that you have got everything settled at home home life is very good you're very happy you've got your family you've got your friends everything seems to be good at home you're it's content right so now is the time for you to pursue that life purpose in your career um i don't know what that is though um let's pull one from the let's pull an akashic record card let's pull an akashic card and just see if we get any more insights into that career uh into that career purpose for you scorpios uh very lovely energy though yes very lovely energy you are really taking advantage of this uh um, this new moon in in Leo, this Leo energy, right? Which is to step into the unknown, go out of your comfort zone. Right. Do you want me to use these cards? Yes. Okay. So please make them stop jumping around. I only want one. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I only want one, but I've got two. And I've got one which is the two of roses and the other one hidden behind it is reflection which is the moon <coughs> so you really are taking advantage of this moon 
this new moon energy in Leo. Because it is about stepping out of your comfort zone. It is about going into the unknown. The the two here, this is winged message, messi, uh, messengers. Um, and I feel that you're going to have some choices now in your career, Scorpio. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you're going to have, maybe you're going for job interviews or maybe you've had a new opportunity that's arrived on your lap suddenly and you've got to make a choice. Um, do what you feel is best. And we've got, um, uh, you know, this, this Lionsgate portal is all about this heart chakra energy. It's very green here, you see at the bottom. I, I would definitely, as I said to, um, as I said to Virgos, uh, do some heart chakra meditations. Um, if you're struggling with the choice, don't be afraid if one of those choices really takes you out of your comfort zone. It's probably the one to take. Okay, this is only guidance and only guidance. Okay, that's just the messages I'm getting uh from my guides um that this moon energy is something that it, it it could mean two things one is that they're not one of the companies is not being totally honest with you or one of these doors that is opening not being totally honest so have a good look at both jobs the other thing is that this actually could be a good thing um and behind the door is uh is the unknown and the mystery that you've been looking for and a bit of a challenge right that's what i feel here with this this stalk it's a dove and a, and a hawk it's a dove and a hawk not a stalk what am i talking about a dove and a hawk and the hawk is kind of that um kind of you know pushing you pushing you to heights pushing you to extreme heights right so this could be energy of um something isn't quite right or um behind door number one things aren't quite right but behind door number two is the energy that's going to push you out of your comfort zone all right so which one is it going to be door number one or door number two okay <laughs> hope that makes sense uh scorpio um it's always uh it's always a joy to see what comes out in these cards okay uh right so let's see um now we have Sagittarius. So let's see. So Scorpio was uh October, November. Sagittarius is now November and December. So this new moon in Leo is falling into your ninth house of life, business, teaching, mentoring. Whoa, so much stuff, Sagittarius. Uh no, I don't want that one. Okay, thank you. Split the cards again. Thank you. Mm. Sorry, cards are getting all getting in a mucking fuddle. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh so let's have a look. Sagittarians. Gosh, did that just come out before? Is that the card that came out before? Do I want another one? Do I want another one for Sagittarians or is it just that one? Just that one. Okay, thank you. Uh, three of Spring. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Okay, Sag Sagittarius. So this is about your life, business and all things to do with being a teacher and it says here keep an eye on the long term watch your steps have patience um satisfaction from a job well done may mean that you're now ready to step into being uh the becoming the teacher or the mentor oh oh italy it's so hot here Roasting. I've got the fan on, but <clears throat> not my air conditioning. So, let's see. Okay. Now, what else am I going to pull for Sagittarius? Let's have a look. Uh, Keepers of the light. No, we're going to go with the Akashic Tarot again. Yes, is that correct? All right. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so, spiritual teaching. 
spiritual teaching. That seems to be something that is coming to my mind, Sagittarius. Spiritual teaching, life, business, all, all of those things, right? You could be a spiritual teacher, talk about life. That could also be your business. Well, that one's stuck. Oh, the light of the world. <laughs> Look at that. This just come out. So why are you ready to teach us, Sagittarius? What are you ready to teach us? Right? You are ready. Look at these colours. Look at this purple, right? This is like Ascended Master's colour. This is third eye colour. This is, this is you being ready to teach, right? And the light of the world. Look at that. Um, be a light for the darkness um, that others. Maybe some shadow work. Maybe you can help people with, um, you know, moving away from their ego. Um, maybe this is something you already do and you want to take it a step further. Uh, but definitely you're being the light here. Um, y yes. Um, the Rider Waite deck, do we want that? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that one because I did say that I would... Um, I would pull one from it for everybody. Uh, I don't think I want all of those, do I? No, I don't. Let's see. See what comes out. Uh, yeah, so you're shining your light. You, you've, you've, you've been the, the scholared learner. You've learned things. You, you, this week is in your te um, ninth house of life business and all things to do with teaching. Oh. <laughs> the magician. That's the mani major manifested teacher, right? So that's that was the right cards to pull. And I did say I would pull a right awake card for every sign. Um, so, yeah, so this, the, the magician. The light of the world. And... <clears throat> the three of spring okay amazing amazing so the final message for you Sagittarius is go and shine your light to the world um, help people out of the shadows people are really struggling right now they they need spiritual mentors teachers um, and not just for, for the fluffy stuff they want real real um answers um real time answers they want honesty they want integrity um and this this all comes from this three of spring yeah she is really in integrity she is all about giving her truth um she is ready to shine the light okay and to to be the ma major manifester for other people oh lovely cards wonderful Okay, okay, thank you, Sagittarius. Now, on to Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, there you are, December and January. December and January. Okay, I'm going to split the cards. That's what you want me to do. No problem. Okay, fairy decks. Fairy, please. We're looking for uh, Capricorn now. Capricorn, this new moon in Leo is, is falling into your eighth house of transformation, healing, deep changes, sensual, sexual, everything really deep and passionate, Capricorn. Whoa! Wow! That's major, man! <laughs> so that's like deep, meaningful, purposeful, that's deep stuff, man. Wow. Transformation. Another from here? No? Okay, good. So what came out? The eight of summer. Right? The eight of summer. Uh, the desire for a more meaningful life. <laughs> so true. You couldn't make it up, right? Realising it's time to move on and choosing to make major life changes. Well then. Wow. What changes are you making this week? You are really going to be taking advantage of this Capricorn, of this new moon in Leo and this lion's gate, which is all about transformation. It's all about finding confidence, pushing boundaries, stepping into the unknown. Well, look at this right here. This is you. You're ready, right? I can see it, Capricorn. You're so ready to take the ball by the horns and charge into the uh, charge into the unknown, getting out of your comfort zone. You're so ready, aren't you? Wow, I'm so proud of you, Capricorn. Right? 
the diligent worker that you are, it's time now maybe to make some life changes. Maybe you've been working for a company, putting in the hours, and maybe you've just decided, yes, I'm sorry, I didn't want those jumping cards. Um, maybe it's time for something to do with you. Yeah, something new for you, right? Um, you're definitely ready. And the King of Forces just uh, just flew out of the Akashic deck for you. Um, and this guy here, right, look, he is... Um, well, look, you've got all that purple energy for a start, right? So let's just start with that first. Um, that is Ascended Masters, the same as I said to uh, Sagittarius. Um, that means you are ready. You're ready to break free of the chains, maybe of a company. Um, look, he's in the forest here. He's got stag energy. That's a stag and a wolf. Very, very strong spiritual energy, spiritual guidance, uh, animal spiritual guidance, actually. Um, do I want to pull one from the spirit animal deck for you? I don't have those here. I mean, I, I do. I mean, I have it here. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. They're saying yes. Pull one from the spirit animal deck. Okay. Uh, you've got the stag and you've got the, um, you've got the, the wolf. Very, very strong energies. Uh, the wolf can sometimes, uh, the wolf is a very solo, right? They can, they can be solo or they can run with the pack. Maybe you've just been running with the pack too much now, right? And you want a bit of that solo strength. Um, ready? It's ready to go out on your own into new, to new ventures. But again, with that purple energy, you see, that purple energy is all about um, a spirit, high, high vibes, high spiritual energy, um, and you know, going into going into something with the best of intentions um you've got definitely spirits by your side yeah definitely spirits by your side and you've got here uh rhino spirit overcome any obstacles <laughs> wow and with that came cow spirit the miracles are endless so look at these cards my goodness my goodness capricorn uh, you really are, you're just, you're going great guns here. You, you're ready. You're going to go into the unknown. You've got a, a lot of, uh, strong spiritual energy with you. Amazing, amazing power. Yes. And then you've also got the overcoming any obstacle. It's, nothing's going to be, you can, if any challenges come your way, you're going to be ready for them, but you're ready definitely to, to step into the unknown for sure. Yes. And then you've got the miracles are endless. Don't be afraid, uh, Capricorns. This is your time. This is the start. Wow. Power to the Capricorns, man. Go. That's amazing. Beautiful energy. Look, I wasn't even going to... I hadn't even got this, the spirit animal deck out. But that's what, they're, what they were asking me to, to, to pull for you. And you can see why, right? Okay, lovely. So let's see now. What do we have for our lovely uh, Aquarians are next? Aquarians are January and February. January and February. Why am I... Mm, okay, that was very strange. I started with the Akashic Tarot. Maybe because I was talking, not paying attention. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's have a look for Aquarius. So this new moon in Leo, what's and um, what's this going to? Uh, what's this all about? Well, Aquarius, this is in your seventh house of relationships. Uh, it could be business or personal. It could be business or personal. So let's have a look. Uh, Business or personal? Let's have a look. Business or personal? Relationships for Aquarius, please. New moon in Leo for Aquarius, please, spirits. Ow. Something's digging into my hand. 
One of the cards is digging into my hand. My goodness me. Right. Well, there's the moon. And there's the sun. <laughs> and there's the queen of winter. Okay, so let's have a look at these cards then. So we've got the moon, the sun, and the queen of winter. Well, the moon, we know. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth of a situation. Okay, so this is very much the full moon uh, in, in Leo. Full moons are all about, um, you know, there, there can be uh, sometimes that, you know, that unknown energy. But there is a lot of passion with it, right? Um, following your passion. It says here, powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Following your passion. Definitely, um, definitely right for you, um, Aquarius um let go of the worry and fear it's you know when we've got all of this creative energy around us aquarius you're the opposite sign to leo um you i, I know you you do love to be creative and you do but only when you when you have the time and you you know you you actually make it an intention to do to, to, have, to be creative um but you know and understanding the truth of a situation i just think this is all to do with you um Taking advantage of this um, this new moon in Leo energy, taking cre taking advantage of the Leo energy that's abound right now is everywhere, right? And then you've got the sun, and the sun energy that's a Leo card as well, right? So uh, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitudes for the blessings of life. So I think um, this is definitely you stepping out of your <clears throat> comfort zone and following your passion and getting creative. Um, now, we've got the Queen of Winter. The Queen of Winter is strong, patient, self-sufficient and funny. Um, I think this is you, I think this is you Aquarius. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. So this is for my singles, single Aquarians, that card is for, yeah? Uh, my single female um, Aquarians. Uh, relationships. We've talked about this before, Aquarians, how you give, give, give to family and friends. You give a lot. Um, and, you know, sometimes you need to, to focus on you and your career. Um, I do feel with this moon energy... Uh, this is telling you to start to start being creative again. You've got this. You've got the sun with that. Uh, you've got the sun with that, which which is definitely um, happy, creative energy. It's Leo energy. I think you're really enjoying the energy that's around right now. I, I you know, I don't think there's any major um, information for you, Aquarius. I just think. Just be, keep going. Um, it says to focus on your career. I don't feel that so much. I don't feel that so much. I feel that I want you to enjoy yourself with your family and friends. Um, and, and, you know, your family and friends want to give back to you as well. You give so much energy and so much passion to your friends and family. You're there for them all the time. So why don't you, why don't you, um, everything's reciprocal right reciprocity right reciprocity is give and take give and take give and take you tend to give it all and you don't tend to take it back so why don't you just take the love this week some of this love and with the sun right this happy card take some of that love and and cherish it nourish it nurture it that that comes from your um your family and your friends really hear it um and and maybe that means just, uh, you know, not being there for them all the time, stepping back a bit. And I know we've talked about this before, Aquarius, stepping back, taking some time for you. Not necessarily career wise, but I think maybe some creative projects that you've got going, maybe at home, in your business. Um, and it's time to focus on those, I think, this week. Really um, having the confidence to, um, to, to really to be more creative than normal. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, just to be more creative than normal. 
Um, and maybe that means you do have to step away a little bit from your friends um, and focus on your creativity a bit more and your projects to finish them, okay? Uh, let's just pull one of that one from the Rider Waite deck and let's see uh, what, the, what the Rider Waite has to say. Da, da, da. Did I do that for Capricorn? I think I did, didn't I? Gosh, I hope so. I can't remember. I really can't remember. Okay, we've got the chariot. The chariot. The chariot is quite fast moving energy, you know. Um, and this is at the moment we're galloping forward, right? Especially with this Lion's Gate portal, we're galloping forward. Um, and the chariot's going to give you, you know, drive and motivation um, with these creative project projects. Uh, so you're just going to be galloping forward with whatever you're doing and having lots of different ideas and uh, creating new things. And I think that's wonderful. I think you should take advantage of it. OK, OK, lovely. Thank you, Aquarians. Um, so now on to the sign of Pisces. OK, Pisces. My little piskies, piskies, Pisces, February and March. February and March is uh, Pisces. And this new moon in Leo falls into your sixth house of work and intentions. Well, it's all about setting intentions, right? Uh, so at the beginning of the video, I talked about the ritual that you can do. You can go back and look at that at the beginning of the uh, beginning of the video. It's all about setting intentions, Pisces. And we've talked for a long time about you focusing more on getting your voice out to the world. Um, and this week is all about work. So maybe it is work that you need to focus on. Um, with putting your voice out there. I don't know, but that card's just flown out and it's the den of winter. The, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of addiction or a codependency. Okay. Yes. I don't believe that that's um I'm not going to take that as like an addiction like alcohol or drugs or anything like that. I am going to take it as codependency on someone else has always got a louder voice than me. My voice won't be heard. That's what I'm going to take it as, Pisces, okay? Um, and I think that you, you've started to... Um, you know, this Lionsgate portal, very important for all, for all of us, right? This is a, a rebirth. Um, I'm actually going to pull one from the Keepers of the Light for you, uh, Pisces. Um, so let's have a look. A weight lifted off your shoulders. Now, we also talked before, Pisces, about finding somebody that could help you. Well, there's two falling out there. Uh, that can help you um, if you're feeling a bit nervous about talking, um, telling people about what you know, sharing your experience. Um, and we've got here Mary Magdalene, the teacher awakens. <laughs> you couldn't make this up, honestly. So it says you have something important to share. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you. Right. So this is the time, the end of this, the end of this uh, of, of relying on other people. Right. You are ready. You are ready. Now, I did talk, I have said, and I'll say it again, because I'm getting that message for it again, is that if you want to work with somebody, um, you want to do a, have a collaboration, then by all means, have a collaboration, because I think that that will, you know, if, if two, two minds are better than one sometimes, and if you feel that you just, you know, you haven't got the confidence at the moment to do it, then actually collaborate with somebody and do some work together. Find somebody that knows what you do. I've also got here Diana. Um, and Diana is focused intention. Uh, think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the possible, the best possible outcome. Well, that's 
all about intentions. So you're on the, the, the sixth house of intentions for you, Pisces. And the new moon setting intentions. My goodness, it's all about setting intentions for you. What do you want? What don't you want? What do you want? Be very, very clear on the difference because the time is now. The teacher is ready. You are ready, Pisces. You are ready to speak your truth. You are ready to get your voice to the world, okay? Um, so, wonderful, wonderful energy. Let's just let's just do the ride away to let's see what comes out for you with that. I love that energy for you, Pisces. It's beautiful. Really, really lovely, yes? Um, resolution of difficulties wow set your sights high follow the inner call don't let anything stop you i mean that's wonderful isn't it it's just wonderful and the world the, sorry the world the wheel of fortune oh my god the world is your oyster right oh my god you could do so many things right now you've got so many choices it can be a bit overwhelming okay so Focused intention, focused intention, choose something and go for it, choose something and go for it, okay, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely energy Pisces, fantastic, okay, um, and same message, right, but please set your intentions um, and focus, try and focus on one thing at a time, don't get bogged down from the don't you can't see the wood for the trees right you've got too many things that you need to do, talk about just focus on one thing at a time okay um okay i hope that helped and now we're on to aries so my lovely aries you are march and april march and april and the new moon in leo for you aries falls into your fifth house of love romance creativity and self-expression Ooh la la how wonderful um so obviously we've got this uh, new moon which is a rebirth following your passion so this week can be really lovely for you um do i want those no okay too many yeah correct just want one please just one please just one little card just one little tarot for my little Aries. just one little tarot okay oh ha, ha, ha. oh my goodness me the lovers it couldn't you couldn't plan this right uh, remember that, that this new moon for you is all about, it's in your fifth house of love, romance, creativity and self-expression. And you've got the lovers. Uh, true love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart and a return to good health. That's fantastic. And it came out with the emperor. Another major arcana card. Um, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organised. A firm but compassionate leader. Okay. Um... So this could be a romantic partner or this could be a business partner because the emperor's come out here, which could mean, indicate, that it's a business partner for you, Aries. Someone that's going to take you to the next level. Um, yes, let me, let's see. For some of you, it's going to be romance. It's going to be a strong person that comes into your life. You need that, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, you need a strong person that's just going to come in and match your strength. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm hearing. And then for others of you, this could be someone that you've been looking to collaborate with um, in business. Um, and the emperor is very wise, uh, very determined, um, and has a lot of of the uh, integrity, honesty that you that you need, right? Uh, wow. Okay, I'm going to pull from the uh, Akashic, Akashic Tarot. Let's see. Wow, that's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful energy uh, for you, Aries. For all the signs, we've had lovely, uh, lovely messages. But, uh, and, and some of them, bang on point for what house it's falling into right so you've actually got the lovers and the emperor aries let's see what else wants to come out from the tarot please 
the Akashic Tarot for my Aries. Thank you. Oh, did you see that one? Jumped and went back in the bag. That's obviously not meant for you. Oh, there we go. No way. That's just flipped over in the pack, and that's the same as, um, I think it was Capricorn had this. The King of Forces. And that's more. Look at all of this purple energy. Wow. It's crazy. All this spiritual energy. Right? It's, it's very high vibrational energy. Wow. Um, it's all about that self-expression and the creativity, following your passion. Um, and, you know, stepping out into the unknown. Well, there's the unknown right there. There's a forest right there. It's just stepping out into definitely into the unknown. Um, and maybe in business, that's where this emperor is going to help you when you're stepping into the unknown. Um, and you're going to um create something new together on this collaboration okay um or definitely with the lovers card uh finding this new partner and that's a, definitely a collaboration on its own isn't it but that's stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit isn't it uh, aries yeah um love and romance usually business for you isn't it aries so this is going to be a little bit of a trippy week for you um because for as some of you, it could be business. And for others, you, you, it could be romance. Okay. So let's just, let's see what the Rider Waite deck has to tell us. Okay, the hanged man, okay. Right, the hang, the hanged man, look. So, this is usually just hanging around, just waiting and thinking and, and feeling into something. So, maybe that's just the overall energy here before you rush into anything. It's just to, it's just to, to think about it. You do, I mean, this is going to be lovely for you, right? This is really lovely, this collaboration. But think about this person that's coming in, this, this emperor, right? It's going to be a strong energy, whether romantic partner or business partner. Um, you are stepping into the unknown. Um, and for you, as I said, it's usually business and not romance. So it's going to be... So hang back a little bit. Um, it, this is definitely right for you. But just go into it slowly, slowly. Don't rush into it, Aries, okay? Because I know that you've got a tendency to do that sometimes. You tend to, to rush head, headlong into something without fully looking at it. And so just give it all your, your kind consideration first before you step into anything. Well, not before you step into it. Go into it, but go into it slowly. <laughs> not head first go in with slow baby steps right um and and work it out whatever it means to you okay all right okay uh hope that helped aries now we're on to my lovely taurians taurus and taurus is april and may So, Taurus, new moon in Leo, energy for you this week is in your fourth house of family, home and roots. Oh, it'll suit you down to a T. Taurus, you're all about your family and your roots and your home, right? You're all about that. So, uh, this is going to this is going to be a lovely week for you. No, we don't want those. Thank you. Um yeah, it's going to fit right, right, in, right in for you. Well, that doesn't want to go in. And that's the Empress. <laughs> Do we want another one for Taurus? Oh, dear. The life of luxury. That's hilarious. You couldn't make that up either. Right. No, no more on that on the, with those cards. Okay. 
This is the Empress. This is totally you, right? This is total Taurus energy, right? It's very earthy. It's very green. Uh, but it's also, you know, the, the life of luxury. Taurians love their luxury, right? They love a life of luxury. They love to be the queen of... Uh, uh, the, the Empress, I'm sorry. Not even just the queen, the Empress of life, right? Um, so, yeah, it just says time to take action. Power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. It, it is really, really just, just perfect for, for you Taurians right now. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull... What am I going to pull? The Keepers of the Light? Yeah, the Keepers of the Light. Let's see what the Keepers of the Light have to add to that for you Taurians. Family, home and roots. Yeah, the life of luxury. So just have a really lovely chilled out week with your family, right? Um, and enjoy the energy that's around at the moment. It's beautiful. Beautiful, creative, Leo, passionate, fun energy. Yeah, spread that love with your family and your friends, your loved ones, your roots, right? Fantastic. Okay. Oh, I've just bent my card. I didn't mean to do that. I should have just let it fall, shouldn't I? That's what it should have done. All right, we've got Melchizedek. Melchizedek is higher learning. You've learned from experience. More and inner study is now required for further progress. Yeah, I feel with this, with the Empress, this is not. This is just all about chilling out now, right? This is all about stepping into the into relaxing and your inner being, higher self, um and you know sharing the love that you have with your with your family um let's just pull from the animal the spirit animal deck just for more clarification here it's definitely lovely energy with that life of luxury for you taurians yeah <clears throat> um, higher learning you've learned from experience well Taurians you just like to you like to learn the hard way don't you uh, but this week is not a, not a week of learning for you I don't feel that it's a week of just relaxing and taking time with the family okay um, what do we have uh, sandpiper spirit see Sandpiper spirit, be playful. That's perfect. Be playful. Have a lovely week. Enjoy the energy of this week. Uh, share the love. Right? Share what you have. Little you have or lots you have, whatever it is. I know that you like doing that with friends. You're very generous, Torians, with your friends and family and the people that you love in your life. You, you, you can't give them enough. I know that. Uh, I've got Tory and veins that are lovely. Um, so let's see, just one more card from, from this. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got the Hierophant energy, which is uh, personal development, self help, inner wisdom. Uh, yeah, inner wisdom. This is what I'm feeling. Uh, with this um, Malchizedek card, okay, is that you've got that higher wisdom. Maybe just spreading what you know, spreading the love, spreading the joy. Um, maybe people, maybe family members coming to you this week. It is the summer holidays after all, and they're asking for your guidance. Maybe it's all going to come out in a playful way. It doesn't have to be in a teachy, preachy kind of mentoring way, right? Um just be the empress, right? Enjoy your garden. Enjoy your time with your in your this this time in your life, right? Really enjoy it. Be playful and understand that you 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 always see things from a higher perspective, right? Lovely. Okie dokie. Well, I'm glad I got those spirit animal deck cards out. I wasn't sure I was going to use those today. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so now we're on to Geminis, my Geminis. So Geminis are May and June. May and June, what time are we? Woof. 
An hour and 10 minutes in, lovely. Okay, so Gemini. The new moon in Leo is falling into your third house of communication, routines and habits. Communication, routines and habits. Mm. Well, this is about speaking up, stepping into the unknown and going out of your comfort zone at the moment. Uh, all right, you've got the two of spring and the three of summer. Numbers in a row are always good, two and three. Two of spring, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. And the three of summer, which is news worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations or births, or friends that you cherish. This is a really lovely week for you, Gemini. Um, yeah, I mean, this is... For most people, it's stepping out the comfort zone. Um, anything that's happening this week is going to be man. The energy is going to be manifested, right? So, <clears throat> whatever you've done um, to to manifest your dreams, collaborations, that kind of thing. I think we've talked about that before, Gemini. Starting to come to fruition for you, um, and you've got some news that's worth celebrating. I think maybe finally your ships are coming in. Um, and this week is going to be a time for you to, to not only enjoy that, but also to maybe continue with that and continue with the momentum of that, the creativity of that. Uh, let's pull from the, um, keepers of the light. Uh, let me see what else I get from these cards. Um, yeah, you've definitely... Especially with the communication, routines and habits. I feel that you're just going to have to continue. Um, look, you've, you, you've obviously been working as a team. Look at this. This is communication, right? These two people are talking to each other. Um, and this is on a high vibrational level here, right? This is all um, high uh, purple energy. It's high spirit, high vibrational energy, okay? So these two people are collaborating on a project together. Um, and, you know, and then these, these girls here are just dancing and celebrating. So this has obviously worked out. Okay. This collaboration has worked out and now it's time for a bit of joyfulness. Um, you've got El Moria, um, and that's awakening presence. Uh, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Okay. So look here, look at them really really lovely energy yes you've done the hard work you're enjoying stuff and i want you to continue you are protected right you are the universe is with you you're on the right path keep going yeah use this uh, momentum this uh lion's gate portal this spiritual into intelligent dna activation um, going out of your comfort zone, creating more than usual. Keep going with it, Gemini. You're going in the right direction, yes? Oh, and you've got the moon, right? So that's the moon energy. So that's just another, another message to say, go with this moon energy. This week is going to be amazing for you, yes? Um, now, sometimes that does mean... Uh, Truth being revealed. I don't feel that's that and and uh, and hidden knowledge. Um, no, I feel that this moon is for you. It's just just going to go with this new moon energy in Leo. That's what I'm feeling very much. So yes, yes. Okay, good. So you're just going to have to just keep going. So use the energy of this of this new moon, um, all this creativity, all this passion, and use it. Um, to keep going with what you've, the great job that you've already done, right? Uh, okay, wonderful. Uh, let's see, finally, Cancers, my little Cancerians. Cancers, so Cancers, you are June and July. June and July, okay. So, and you are in the, the new moon in Leo for you is in the sixth house of money and finances. Now, I know that you struggle sometimes 
being in that Leo shadow, right? Um, because it's Cancerian and then Leo season. And now we've, we've had so much Leo. It's been very strong, the energy of Leo this this year, 2021. And now we're in this rebirth, new moon in, Le in Leo. <laughs> it's like crazy. So what does Cancer need to know about this second house of money and finance? What does they what do they need to know for this week? Um, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? Okie dokie, right. You've got two major arcanas here. You've got unity and ego. Uh, unity, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you in a spiritual-minded community. Okay, so um, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches. Let me just read the ego first and let's put the two cards together and see. Uh, illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on the material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So this is definitely about money and finances. You're worried about them, yes? Well, you've got traditional versus new approaches. So what, whatever's, how have you been calculating your finances? How have you been working around things? Um, how have you been, um, do you have a plan? Do you have a template? Um, are you are you writing down everything that comes in, everything that goes out? Um, have, have you invested in stocks? Have you invested in the cryptocurrency? All those things are coming to me, Cancer. Um, but you're just digging too deep into those. You're just looking at it. Just make it very simple. Make it very simple, yes? That's what I'm hearing. Simplify it. Have an outgoing and an incoming, right, on a spreadsheet. Very simple, right? Put all your receipts on one and everything that's coming in on another, right? Salary, stocks, whatever. Make it very simple. Simplify your life. You're making it to... It's going to rear its ugly head this week. You're going to be worried about it because I can see the ego stepping in here, right? You're going to be worried about it. So just simplify it, right? There's so many different templates and documents out there that you can use to simplify your finances, right? Make it very easy. Um, you've got enough, I'm seeing here, right? You're, you're putting too much importance on material things. You've got enough. You've got enough, right? You do not need to be um to be to be worried about abundance right just look around you i've got a house thank you for my house thank you for my tv thank you for the food in my fridge thank you for my electricity thank you for my fresh water thank you for my glasses i can see the world thank you for my wi-fi right just look at all the abundance that you have in your life cancer and stop worrying so much on you know on, on the emphasis of of money but if it does help you there are many templates out there to put to put your finances in order if you want to see it in black and white okay uh now i pulled a card from the keepers of the light you've got lady nada uh heart awakening that's beautiful awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance <laughs> right so that's what i was talking about with what do you know the abundance that you've got worrying about material things and worrying about finances and stuff which might rear its ugly head this week and getting out of your ego and this is given receiving balance okay so thank mother nature for providing the food thank the universe for the things in your house okay so when you when you're thankful you get more of that when you when you're in ego and you're going i don't have enough that you get more of that right so i would just um just 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 uh don't be so get just get out of your ego and uh definitely set some intentions this week um write down what you don't want and write down what you do want and be very clear about them. I just saw the devil card appear and it went back in the pack. So I'm not sure if he's coming out or not. That's way too many cards. Way too many cards. Thank you. Let's see what comes out for my Cancerians. There he is. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Those are upside down. I'm sorry, that's not... That's incorrect. 
a whole bunch of them and they all went in upside down and I don't want to read all of those for you Cancer, I just know there is one card in here for you. So let's see what it is, what's Cancer need to know, this Rider right Waite card please, for, for Cancer, my lord, you are really up in your own head Cancer, those cards just flew, just flew everywhere right, everywhere. That's twice your cards have totally flipped over, right? Totally flipped over. Um, you've got the sun here. Okay. It, it, it flipped out with the others before and it's flipped out again now, okay? So I'm taking it this time. Um, so, you know, the sun, there is brighter days ahead, okay? Get out of your ego. Start thanking the world. Thank you for the sun that's shining on my face. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my arms and legs. Thank you for my body. Right? Uh, go outside and get some sunshine. Get some vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C, vitamin D um, is the sun, right? Um, and, and just start enjoying life a bit more, Cancer. I know this is Leo season. I know you're struggling. Uh, but don't worry about it. Just to go with the flow. Get in there and, and create something and create a template if you need to for your finances. Just do something productive, right? Um, and you're and definitely, you've got unity here, right? Bringing things together, right? Balance. You've got balance here with Nadia, right? With Nadia, Nada, Lady Nada, right? And you've got uh unity here which is the spiritual minded community there are people around you that can help you right and there are spreadsheets and templates and stuff that can help you too all right so just 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 chill your, chill your bones and 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 go with the flow right now okay i know it's difficult i know i do know cancer i know you struggle with leo season i know all right so i think we've finished that's wrapping it up. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Whoa. So if you'd like to reach out to me at Blissful Transformation, um, I have many different programs. Not only do I do tarot cards, as you know, I also do TEC, Transformational Energy Coaching. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a video on that. Um, and you can also check out that on my website. Um, and if you'd like to join the Facebook community, the link is in the bio. All right, my beautiful people. I love you. Bye. Have a fantastic week. Happy Lionsgate portal. Bye.